ready start i rise to support this bill brought forward by the government in regard to land ceiling in delhi area sir as has been said by my colleagues from both sides of the house and ceiling is one aspect of land management in the agricultural economy of this country while supporting the bill i would like to draw the attention of the honorable minister who himself is a knowledgeable person and who knows more about land management to person and to important points which occur to me one point is that land should be productive productive in the real sense so that they may be able to take not only one crop but two crops as well they will be in a position then to generate more surplus for the consumers in this connection the latest reports of the national sample survey the rbi and agricultural census published by his ministry are very bright i do not want to go into the details because so many honorable members have said about this and the honorable minister is also aware of this by and large what comes out is that a very large number of people are holding small acreages and therefore it has to be seen whether these large numbers of people will be able to manage this and what efforts will have to be put in by the government and the banking system in that regard sir i was surprised to learn that about 63% of the agricultural population which contributes good worth about rupees 1700 crores needs roughly about rupees 7000 crores for its consumption requirements therefore the rural indebtedness is increasing day by day similarly it is seen from the agricultural census and the report of the national sample survey that the small farmers and the marginal farmers are being converted gradually into what are called agricultural laborers therefore you cannot create industrial opportunities if there is this staggering conversion of marginal and sub marginal farmers to agricultural or landless laborer therefore it is necessary that the land which is going to be made available should be made productive and this is the present need of the country in this connection i would like to draw the attention of the honorable minister to a very illuminating research carried out by the one lady scientist and which has been published very recently it is seen from there that the marketable surplus of the marginal farmers is directly linked to the rates to be given for their products we see here that whenever the agricultural prices commission advises the government to fix the prices the economists say that 
इट विल क्रिएट इन्फ्लेशन एंड दैट देयर विल बी ट्रांसफर ऑफ रिसोर्सेस फ्रॉम द अर्बन टू द रूरल पॉपुलेशन एंड सो ऑन आई डो नॉट नो वाट एक्चुअली इट मीन्स बट द डिफिकल्टी ऑन बट द डिफिकल्टी इज दैट दे आर नॉट गिविंग प्रॉपर प्राइजेस टू द फार्मर्स फॉर देयर प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर दैट पर्पज इफ द मार्केटेबल सरप्लस इज टू बी टेकन फ्रॉम फार्मर्स देन केयर हैज टू बी टेकन पार्टिकुलरली विथ रिगार्ड to the distribution of land whether it is in delhi or anywhere else in this country so that proper relationship is maintained whereby marketable surplus is made available now i do not want to go into the question of small farmers and large farmers my honorable friend on the other side has given out his own views but very recently we have seen some russian experts expressing the opinion that small farms are not productive to the extent desired and that they require a different type of services to see that the small farms are productive in our country but in japan we see that the small farms are productive somebody talked about tractor prices we see that the prices of fertilizers oil and so many other inputs have increased to such an extent that to the farmer who is going to get such land out of the surplus land to cultivate it and make it an economic and viable unit requires some efforts for giving him incentive prizes in this connection i want to refer to other agencies small farmers and medium farmers societies now the scheme of rural banks the efforts of the nationalized banks and the cooperative banks are there with all these still the problem is so much that mere distribution of land will not be the solution for keeping rural indebtedness under control for that purpose i think more risk oriented capital has to be put in subsidy on agricultural inputs incentives on mechanization scheme have to be given at such level where by the marginal farmer or the small farmer will be induced to produce more it is my experience that in metropolitan cities like delhi mumbai calcutta and chennai you have now enacted laws for small farmers and created distribution agencies for the available surplus land but no steps are taken for benami land held by professionals like doctors and lawyers stop